啦。Gotta respect the cavemen, man. They didn't need all our modern conveniences. No carpets, no shoe racks, no two-for-one train tickets. Just hanging in a cave with your friendly dinosaur buddy. Now that's the life. Dear hospital administrator, I think we make real good partners, you and me. I can see it now. Yesterday and co. That'd be you, the co. That first visit went fantastic. Time travel is all anybody can talk about. Business is going swell, and all is well. Now for the bad news. It seems like we've got a few people, shall we say, unaccounted for. It's no big deal. It's just they don't seem to, you know, exist anymore. They're lost in the time void, and let me tell you, it is busy in there. What we need is more of those time portals that'll give them somewhere to go. We need to go back as early as we can and sweep up all of our valued customers. I don't need to tell you, word of mouth is very important for a young business like ours, and nobody's recommending nothing in the time void. Initially yours, Captain Yesterday. Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to A Stitch in Time DLC. In the last episode, we completed clockwise upon time in fact we completed this really quick didn't we it was a star an episode um so yeah uh really really fast um i wonder what this next one is going to be like um this we're moving on to clockwise before time very clever very 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 clever i like it i like it this sort of neolithic type um uh, space odyssey <laughs> monkey scene um and I do like as well that we're seeing, it seems to be the same location, right? We've got this volcano here, the volcano's here, but it's actually erupting here. And then in the future one, they seem to be utilizing the volcano maybe for power sources or something like that, which is really cool. Um, and, and the running themes of, you know, the potential castle area, you know, and the, the road in front, this is a, a road of lava and here we've actually got like an old cobble road and then here we've got a spacey raised road and all that sort of stuff, you know, uh, enjoying that. We've got a tree here, a bone for this one. <laughs> it's great. I, I'm, I, I'm really enjoying this, this sort of uh, location in its different eras. Um, so yes, yes, look, a, a new hospital. What have we got here? This prehistoric settlement predates most things, including the river time wow excellent we can see the geekism's already made it here um let's go the distant past welcome to clockwise before time and the dawn of civilization in two point county captain yesterday has been getting complaints about missing customers oh my goodness <laughs> they enter their yesteriser and gone no trace we've come back to the earliest time that the yesteriser can muster to see if there's anything to be done about it. Uh, we've been given some of Captain Yesterday's blueprints, mostly drawn on napkins, so we can design our own time portals in the research room. What? That's so cool. <laughs> uh, once we've developed our time portals, we can use them to arrange, uh, to arrange, to manage patient flow, save patients from the time void, and better understand the universe. All in a day's work, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, that is so good. Uh, the benefits of making a really recognisable silhouette <laughs> coming into full force there. Look at these little cactus type plants. <gasps> oh, look. Oh, peeps. Oh. oh, yeah. So they made the lava effect. And they've really put it to good use, even in the superbug, haven't they, with that item? And now we've got it here as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Isn't that great? Little caves. I guess this is where the patients are going to arrive from. Nice. New vegetation and stuff. Look at this. And they've got bridges over um, the river. It's the, uh, the, the, of lava. Not the river. Not the river of time. River of lava. Oh, these little Flintstone style houses. Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's a bit roast. Um, so we do have. Oh, hello. Right, we better pause it. We do. We do. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> She's come from the medieval time, look. 
Oh, look. Oh, is it a little eating joint? <laughs> is that a little eating joint? Oh my god, that, that must be like a real one. Do they have to replace it every now and then because it rots? Oh my goodness. They're half sting big old creatures. Look at that. Big old snout. <laughs> the big old snout. Oh no. I don't know what happened here. Oh no. Oh, lots of bones. Are they uh, are killing these creatures and turning them into eateries? <laughs> oh look, they're doing the furs and stuff here. Oh, a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> They've thought about what's happening at each of these sites. I like that. The watering hole. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's fantastic. Oh, oh it's the hairdressers, everybody. It's a hairdressers. <laughs> oh. What it would look like if uh, Two Point had made Universe Sim. <laughs> Very similar, to be honest, aren't they? They're, they're, fa they're fairly similar designs. And then this is the entrance to their sort of castle thing. This is what becomes the castle, I think. Ooh, oh. Right then. Oh, the leather huts. It's so good. Very well done. I'm loving it. So we've got our hospital here. It's another outside hospital, which... Um, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we first saw this sort of outside in um, the uh, Pebbly Reef, right, with a, a overgrowth and all that. I think that's the first time we saw a, an outdoor hospital. Um, so we've got another one of those, um, and which is it can be quite good because you can sort of block off corridors and they'll just sort of walk over the pebbles and into into the area. So that works quite well. And we can see we've got a lot of plots here. In fact. This looks like it opens up into one full building uh, area, which is which is really nice. So we might be able to get quite a nice flow around the hospital should we need to. Yeah. Uh, so liking this, liking this. So research time portals. So we need to build research. Luckily, we've got quite a lot of doubloons. I'm hoping I have a room template for it. I'm fairly sure that I do. There we go. Research room basic. Um, so let's pop this into here. I, it doesn't look like we've got any stuff. I'm assuming it's hot here. Yes. So this gives us the opportunity to use that uh, new superbug item. So if we come here um, so we can check it out. Because this one we haven't actually checked out yet. But why can't I see? There we go. Look, the ice fountain, fully frozen, drastically reduces temperature. So again, this should do the opposite of the lava one and make the temperature in this space um perfect all throughout um so we need to pop this somewhere uh so we'll probably pop it at the front here it's a nice little entrance oh it's got a little igloo should we do that to the front boom actually it's made it a bit chilly isn't it has actually made it a bit chilly around it but look perfect over here uh which is which is nice um there it is there, oh and then i i'm seeing yeah look it has little sounds. It has little sounds. Right. Um, so, oh, look at the external walls. Look at them. <sighs> Even with sort of the dirt coming out. Oh, my goodness. Right. Okay. It's a little weird to have a research room here, though. So, it's um, really hot inside here as well. So, aircon units are going to be a thing. Now, we could use all these frozen sculptures, um, but they are a bit cheaty. So, I think what we're going to do, and we've already we've already cheated with this, but I've never used it before, so it's nice to check it out, right? Um, but it probably will be the last time we use it. So, <laughs> just so you all know. There we go. So, we're going to um, use these, which ups the, the challenge uh, for maintenance workers and stuff like that. I almost put a radiator in. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. Um... Do you know what we might do? If we go to the items for this specific room, I think we're going to spend the money on that now. Um, so even though it's hot in that corner, I don't think it'll really matter. I'm hoping to get away with it. So we need to hire a researcher. Chuck Leotard. He's nasty and unhygienic. I see what they've done here. No, I'm pretty sure this is random. It feels like it's deliberate. Um, so we're going to want to replace this dude, Chuck really quickly because he is he is woof <laughs> so um time portal 
Look, it's also going to take him an age to do this. I might need to give him some more equipment. Create an arrival point for patients that are lost in time. Start that project. Okay. But we are going to have other patients arriving in the meantime. So um, let's get a basic setup going uh, for these patients. For, for, for Sue's here, uh, McGuffin. <laughs> Look at this. So the only doctor we have here with GP skill has a dark side. It means he can reduce their health randomly. <laughs> uh, enjoys doing evil things. That's the result of it is that he can reduce the health. Um, yeah, so uh, it's the opposite, I suppose, to doctors with the, the healing hands, uh, which can help increase health. So there we are. Uh, what, a, what a wonderful way to start with the type of researcher that we have and the... <laughs> Well, that's absolutely nuts. So here we go. Um, I have an assistant, a janitor. Um, janitor's janitor's alright actually. Um, now we need to. We've got some toilets and a staff room. Um, we could do it getting some bennies down and some snack machines. Uh, I think that would be good. Now, uh, what, what's happened to my bony Benny? I don't know why it doesn't get listed with with all the other bennies. Um, let's see here. Stitch in time, bony Benny. There it is. So, let's pop that there. Actually, do you know what we're going to do? Take that away. Yes, yeah, alright, I changed my mind. Let's pop you there. Um, so, what? how close have we got to this? 83%. So, we're going to send them for treatment. Now, what do they need for that? A ward. Okay, get them to wait. So, we need to build a ward. Excellent. So, we're just getting everything set up. Um, we're blocking that off, but that's that's okay. Again, this is going to be nice and hot. Um, not nice though, actually. Probably just a bit too hot. Um, where's there? Now I could put in with this. Would this fit? Doesn't. Okay. Let's do the small one. Okay. Um, don't know. Maybe we do need to put another. I don't think that'll fit though. Oh, it, it does, but then look, it gets, it gets a bit chilly, doesn't it? Should we pop that over here? There we go. That looked like it was better. Yeah, we need to do the staff room. Oh, I might have to do small ones again. Pop that there. There, it's nice. Good. So I think that is all the rooms fairly cooled. Uh, oh, actually, do you know what I just saw there? The hand sanitizer. Let's pop that back in. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need a nurse to work in the ward. Wow. The ward, They're unhygienic. So Nausea inducing. They just all seem to be really awful <laughs> staff members. So we're going to pop her in there. Excellent. So we can start work on that. Um, also, oh, do you see her outfit? It's great. That's great. Let's pop a couple of bennies here. Look. <laughs> and her hair. Oh. <laughs> She's great. Oh, I wonder what new illnesses we're going to get. I'm so excited. <laughs> I never use this elephant foot bin. But you know what? It, it feels appropriate right now. So, <laughs> in it goes. Feels like it's the perfect level for it. <laughs> nice. Good. Good, I think, I think that's all right. So what are our goals here then? So for the first star, we need to complete the portal research uh, project, which we are very much working on at the moment. Take it is happening. Place three time portals. So I guess once we've unlocked it, we can do that. Um, and then get the hospital to level th seven. Wow, that, that's a lot of patients coming in. Oh, we killed somebody already. I think that was our first patient. We killed our first patient. Uh, seems like I have absolutely nobody available to get rid of that ghost. Cure six patients with Rockstar. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Right, oh, look, pharmacy. So let's let's build that, shall we? Um, so pharmacy. Uh, oh, we want the template. For all of your short -term there it is. Um, and this is nurse. Radio. Oh, look at that. Beatrice. Beatrice. You're perfect. There we go. 
with your with your purple. Oh yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. So it's pretty much a waiting game, isn't it? At this point, for us to <laughs> uh, to um, get this project done, right? We need to to wait for this this project to be done. He's working on it. Leotard's working on it. Uh, he's he's the worst, isn't he? He's just the worst. But do we have any lights to argue? Okay, he's a little bit better. How much does this guy... Oh. Does it say wages paid? I thought it was generating that. I was like, how is he generating wages? Chuck's actually slightly more expensive. So I think what we're going to do is actually fire and hire. Randy is now our dude. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> Seems like Monobrow is back, everybody. <laughs> Monobrow has returned. There they are. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had Monobrow. Uh, but we do. It's not Monobrow, is it? Mono Beast thing. Look, we have a mono uh, beast circus. We could, it, you know, because we, we, we could get the the mono beast stuff out. It's been a while. <laughs> Got the circus. And there is also, um, and this might appeal to many. Uh, this. The brow beater, the latest in an endless series of modern conveniences. This device makes mono beast removal less manual than ever before. So what they do is they're attracted to this and they get stuck in there. And then what you can do is just delete this and it gets rid of all mono beasts. Um, mono beasts are actually not detrimental to your hospital until you uh, kill them. When you kill them, they actually create a mess uh, an eyesore in your hospital but they don't cause any um yeah bad effect hygiene problems or anything like that oh look it's rockstar <laughs> <laughs> okay rancid <laughs> so new illness discovered monobrow that's it mono oh it is monobrow okay cool <laughs> Do you know, it's been so long um and we don't see that one very often i think that's because a lot of people aren't keen on it because mono bees start running around the hospital but they they cause no ill effect on the hospital like it's it's no it's no it's no biggie so now still looking for a better gp haven't found one haven't found one look at him go look at him go can we shoot him outside the hospital oh well we can and then he doesn't <gasps> pro tip <laughs> shoot them outside of the hospital area no cleanup <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, look. We're halfway through our research. I see it. God, look at that. Quiff of a hairstyle. Looking good. Looking good, my son. <laughs> Doctors. No. No. Let's, um, let's get rid of these. Oh, nasty. No. No good. Still, um, oh, they can do ghosty stuff. I'm wondering if it's worth employing them, making a training room, employing them. But we've been killing a few patients. Don't know if you've noticed. Uh, so training is definitely going to become a thing um, that we need to look into. What's that tarred pit? Tarred pit, a buildup of black gloopy substance in the underarm region, usually caused by patients ignoring no swimming signs. It wasn't a suggestion, you know. <laughs> So it seems like that one's quite difficult to treat, which is possibly why we're <laughs> while we're having trouble actually curing them, successfully treating them. Um, so Freddie and Mercury is back. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm loving the uh, the attention to detail and all these different outfits that we've got going on here. I like this, all the variety. It's uh, it's rather lovely. So it seems that maybe the natural hygiene, uh, that all these interesting names they've got for the, ward, the people of this long ago era um, are generally quite dirty as well. So they're bringing their own challenge of being sort of generally quite filthy, which means they spread it to others 
that's that's interesting so uh we got this challenge of get the hygiene rating up and i was like ah oh, is there some sort of a challenge in this area yes they they're naturally quite filthy <laughs> Where did you get that microphone? <laughs> Where'd you get that? We need a psychiatrist. I really don't think that's doable right now. We might have to send you away. What has happened to Ig Jazz, everybody? Look. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Gross. Gross, mate. Gross. <laughs> it's hot headedness and needs the deluxe clinic. Look at that. An interesting example of viral evolution. <laughs> in pre-industrial societies, lightheadedness typically manifested itself in this less advanced but more period-appropriate manner, caused by fireside sleepiness and playing with sticks. <laughs> right, okay, so we're definitely going to be needing one of those. Can I yet get a psychiatrist? No. No, I cannot. No. Oh. Oh, time storm coming. So, oh yeah, on that note, I was, I, as, as you noticed um, in the previous episodes, I didn't understand what was happening in time storm. But one of the peeps said, it seems that we get a surge, look at that, of people coming through. So that's, <laughs> one, that's the time to watch these time portals. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, but two, that is the, uh, the downside consequence of those time storms uh, along with obviously uh, it damages equipment because of all the shaking but yes yes so that's kind of cool um that it, it, it has this oh look at that massive sundial oh my god do you see my attention span there talking about this and then and like oh look at this pretty shiny thing <laughs> yes yes uh, so that's, that's um, yeah a nice addition we need a fracture board which I'm not going to do right now Although, because oh we've got this clock jaw. Also, I've noticed we've got bonehead for surgery. Really keen to, to see that. Um, but yeah, maybe we should try and get a fracture ward in. Um, if we open up a new plot. Do you know what? We might open up this plot um, and get the fracture ward in. Um, this set ticking in the jaw sounds very unpleasant. I'm don't think I'm going to be able to get this done in the time required. <gasps> Tell you what though, they can work in it. We've staffed it. Oh, okay. So we might be able to do this. Fracture ward. There we go. Um, max with the inverse. So in here, we're going to be doing... Yeah. Yes. Okay. I can still afford it. Oh, this is this this will do. Yeah, we'll keep them around then, because I reckon we're going to be able to get this in. Oh, we did it. We did reach hygiene of eighty percent. I don't know how. None of them were cleaning themselves at all. Captain, yesterday arriving today. <laughs> this next song is for all the hospital patients <laughs> shaken up by that earthquake. Looking fabulous, Captain. Yesterday. Here it goes. We are now completing this research project. We are earning a bit of money as well, which is lovely. Come on. <laughs> Finish it. There it goes. So, uh, we've developed um, our version of the time portal. This should simplify things or at least make them drastically more complicated. <laughs> Yes. So what I, I I don't know if I'm going to need to do any more research. So I'm going to fire him. Um, I think. Although he has got treatment skills. Do you know what? I'm not going to fire him. What we're going to do is we're going to open him up to there. Um, yeah. That's what we'll do. Actually. And yeah. Okay. And put in another GP. I built a training room. We definitely need to be doing uh, some training here. Because uh, things are getting a little out of control. Let's have a look at this time portal. Uh, oh, time portal. Releases lost in time patients into the hospital. So it's 10,000. We need to place three of these. So we'll do that. Um, and given that this is already pretty blocked... Oh, is it me? Or is that a really cool looking thing? Oh, look, they've put soft landing cushions. It is a bit rough. 
It is a bit rough. <laughs> Does anyone notice how rough it is? Should we put them right by reception? Talking about the worst idea. Um, do you know what? We'll pop this one here. There's that. Right, so we've got... <laughs> ours. What is this? Oh, right, okay. Now send them home. That was very low. Um, he's very happy. That's great. That's very low. Right, so we definitely need to be sorting out... Uh, training up some decent GPs so we can get through this diagnostic process because we've got a terrible bottleneck happening here and it will not uh, do. <laughs> At least they're getting a softer landing, uh, which I think I think is pretty nice. I think one of the first things I'm going to do is train one of these in psychiatry. Um, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, so... Let's train you psychiatry. Um, and we are going to have to employ Herman Froud. There he goes. <laughs> it, is a mu it looks like a much smoother travel, doesn't it? He still rubbed his bum. Still rubbed his bum. But that looks just not nice at all. Good. Um, and then this staff member can uh, start doing psychiatry so that we can start curing these rock patients. Um, that would be, that'd be pretty great, eh? Ah, we are training two brand new GPs, and they're they're, they're fairly all right as as well as uh, staff go. Um, so we've got too much staff at the moment. Um, so really keen to get these guys trained so we can get rid of the more expensive staff members. Um, where is it? There it is. Uh, that'd be great because money's getting a little tight uh, while we try and sort them out. So this will be good. This will be good. Because uh, we, then we can get rid of some, some expensive stuff like this person, for example. We'll be able to get rid of them. That would be great. Oh, that would be great. And um, and then probably him as well. <laughs> um, so that would be good. Dinosaurs. A potential after effect of being bitten by a gigantic prehistoric lizard. Patients report mild swelling and irritation as well as wounded pride after being told that they don't taste all that nice, apparently. <laughs> we need an injection room. <gasps> oh, uh, I can't really afford to, to build one at the moment, but uh, I like it. I like it. <gasps> FOMO sapiens. Sufferers are anxious about the speed at which human evolution is moving for their kids these days. In my day, we had scales and a big floppy tail. What was so wrong about that? <laughs> Cues are getting a little out of control. I've managed to open up this building so we can finally build the um, injection. There it is. I've, I've also employed a rather lovely nurse to do the job as well. Uh, uh oh, anomaly incoming. Let's um, cool this down. Uh, all we're really waiting on at the moment. And you can see how that's doing really, really well. It has a huge effect, doesn't it? That I did put a radiator near it just to try and help uh, so it's not so cold right by it. But yeah, um, it's, uh, it does a pretty good job. Now, uh, I'm hoping we'll start to make our income just a little bit more reasonable by um, adding the injection room. That's a really good one for earning money. I'm going to send uh, them home. What is this? We failed to go 90 days without death. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, we do have some diagnosis, but clearly not enough. Um, so we need to uh, fix that. We need to get some more diagnosis in here. Um, and I'm actually thinking... Oh, he tires easily, though. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, we'll just stick with the nurses. They are proper diagnostic nurses that's what we need yes it is so i think i might put in some uh, a general diagnosis room here um instead and that that that'll help because i've had to turn off the diagnosing in here uh because it was just getting uh, overrun um which is no good at all look at this we just need to treat one more rock star they're, they're nowhere to be found. Look, I've moved loads of uh, rooms over to here. 
um, just to get them out of the way and added toilet and staff room um, which I think helps um, but yeah still got queue problems I'm working on making our GPs better at the moment before I expand um, how many offices we have here we're going to train them up a bit we're also going to upgrade this machinery and, and train our uh, general diagnosis you know uh, make a stronger foundation before we we expand we're earning money so there's no real uh, need to wildly uh, expand uh, the hospital at this time uh, what we do need though is to kill one more rock star so what we might be able to do is find one um, I, I've not wanted to build uh, marketing to advertise for see because we've, we've got enough people in here so th they'll come in right they will come in looks like we've only got one here at the moment so um we've put him to the top of the queue he's going in he's going in <laughs> there he is <laughs> okay papa okay papa <laughs> we're gonna get him all cured yes we are is this it is this it oh <gasps> it is Woo! look at this woolly man mouth slab <laughs> um excellent i have seen that illness walking around i don't think we've covered it yet because i can't possibly uh, treat it i don't think at the moment congratulations your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the two point health ministry if time heals all wounds i honestly don't know why you're bothering it all seems a bit redundant Nonetheless, I hope that this obligatory letter of congratulations finds you before someone there eats you, or indeed you. Continue to wow the locals with your miraculous technology for more rewards or return to the modern age and get back to work. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. And we've actually also unlocked clockwise above t uh, above time now. Um, but in the next episode, we will, of course, uh, look at Star 2 uh, for this prehistoric hospital. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.